I was not planning on recording today. I was not planning on decluttering today, but okay. So when I get asked, where should people start when they're decluttering? I give them three options. The first, your bedside table, because it's one of the first and last things you see every single day. Two, your sock drawer, because again, it's one of those places that you interact with on a very regular basis, and it's a quick and easy job. You can reap the rewards very quickly. Three is the one I'm dealing with today, and that is the next space that you see that you interact with that bugs the living snot out of you. Let me tell you why this is bugging me today. This corner right here drives me crazy. It's got so many appliances here. It's just messy and cluttered and I don't like it. So we've got the kettle and the toaster. Those are used fairly frequently. They're fine. Bread maker there in the back. My husband did use it for quite a while, but I can't remember the last time he used it. We've got the air fryer, which it does get used on a reasonably regular basis, though I have noticed that it's actually staining the wall here at the back. So I'm not happy about that. Coffee machine does get used on a daily basis by my husband, but he always ends up leaving papers and stuff, just piling stuff up here beside it, which I then passive aggressively leave on his office desk <laughs> downstairs. But the thing that's really bugging me, this giant tub of protein powder. The reason it is sitting there is because it normally goes up here on this shelf, but as you can see, it's just been taken over by lots of other stuff. So I do not want more stuff starting to accumulate in this area. So I've decided I'm clearing it all out. My husband is away for work. That's gonna make it a little bit more tricky because I'm gonna to have to text him pictures and I don't know when he can reply because like I said, he's working, but I'm gonna take everything out of here and just do my best. I'll separate out what I think he doesn't use anymore and hopefully we can make good progress here. But really the goal is to get the protein powder up here and off the counter. So let's go. Many mugs is too many mugs. Asking for a friend. <laughs> there are 28 mugs. I should stress, these are all my husband's. So my mugs and like guest mugs, they are in a completely separate cupboard. This is all my husband's stuff, bar one mug um, at the back there that belongs to my daughter. I think actually this might be her mug as well because this is a little set that I think my mother-in-law gifted her. But 28 mugs, including these two which he never even opened and i bought him this it's one of those ones that like keeps your drink warm because i noticed some mornings he was reheating his coffee i bought him this not last christmas the christmas before and he never even opened it <laughs> so that can probably go and yeah it's just random various things plates bowls bags just a mishmash hot chocolate stuff. I also bought him this that he never even opened. <laughs> also the Christmas before last. Yeah, I'm going to go through this, um, separate out the things that I think we could stand to get rid of, and then I'll obviously have to text him and get his input on those. But I think we can make some progress here. Obviously going to be slightly awkward because it's not my stuff, but I'm basing this on, you know, what I see him using the most frequently, like the things that I see in the dishwasher, the mugs that I see in the dishwasher the most frequently. This can obviously be donated because he has never used it in the over a year <laughs> that he's had it. The MacBook Pro box I would get rid of. He possibly will want to keep it. I'll set it aside for now. I also actually bought him this mug. I have contributed to this problem. I will hold my hands up because he loves mugs. So when it comes to like gift getting time for like a stocking at Christmas or something, um, I 
sometimes buy him a mug. So I bought him this one, it says game day. He has never used that, so that can probably go. Um, and it's Super Bowl this weekend. That's why he's away. So if I donate this in a very timely manner, somebody will probably snap this up. There are a few that my daughter has made. She made it, this one, it says best dad. So we'll have to keep that one. This one that hasn't come out of the bag, that could probably go. There were, so these ones then for our 10 year anniversary, wedding anniversary. So we do like the traditional gifts and year 10 is tin. So I bought him these two tin mugs and I got Scout to like draw little designs on them and then I baked them on um, in the oven. Now they have kind of worn off, they faded quite a bit, um, but he does actually use these so I think he will want to keep them. And I'm not just saying that because <laughs> it was my gift to him. Um, hot cocoa, never used. This mug, never used. I also bought him this mug. I bought him this mug because he's a big Grinch. <laughs> Um, but he did like this one was stained. I'm gonna have to wash that. He does actually use that on a very regular basis. I don't know if he uses this one, so I'll set this one aside for now. Let me just quickly go through the rest of these and I can start texting him pictures of what I want to get rid of. He's actually let me get rid of a few and I have also then just gone ahead and taken pictures of all the ones that I think he probably wants to keep. I'm like, just in case, there might be an extra one or two. I've set aside the ones that he does want to keep, that he's told me he wants to keep. And there's like one, two, three, four, six there. So we'll see. I've sent him pictures of the other ones and we'll see. I think I can just get rid of this bag. I don't know where it came from. We don't use it. It was in like the back of that cupboard. So I'm just gonna donate that. My protein powder can stay, even though it is massive. He does obviously use it on a regular basis. This pour over coffee thing he does use. So we've got a whole selection then of reusable, like things, shakers and drinky things. This, this does, these don't even belong together. This is a bottom without a lid and this is a lid without a bottom. So I'm gonna get rid of those. He does use, these for protein powders, so those can stay. He also uses this for coffee. Um, this one I think we can possibly get rid of, but I'll just have to check with him. I don't know why we have so much of this. I suspect he'll want to keep these. And then this thing, I don't know what it is. I assume it's coffee related. I don't drink coffee or tea or any hot drinks, <laughs> so, but I, this is coffee related, right? Oh no, I'll ask him about that. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to want to keep this pie tin thing, pie crust, but it's been sitting up there for, well, since Thanksgiving, I think anyway. Is there any sort of, used by June 20th, 2023. Okay, so Thanksgiving long gone by. <laughs> and then I think I can get rid of this. This is a thing that I bought him. It's a um, hot chocolate mix, but he's never used it. And I bought it at least two Christmases ago. I'll take pictures of the rest of this. I'm covered now in like dust and fluff. And while I'm waiting for him to respond, I will wipe out these cupboards because they are pretty disgusting. I do the same thing with my husband as I do with my daughter, which is I just text them or I ask them yes or no to donating this. And I just accept. Usually, <laughs> nine times out of 10, the answer that they give without question. There are a few things I do question or just like give some context, like the pie crust. It has expired. We haven't used this in a long time, etc. But generally, I will just accept whatever answer is given. As I suspected, the ones that I think he wanted to keep, he is saying keep to all of them. And then I'm just gonna, Sent him the extra stuff, um, the like hot chocolatey things and the bottles. I think the top shelf will actually be completely clear then, which is handy because I'm a short arse and I can't reach up there. I have noticed he sometimes hides gifts up there and never told me because once I opened the cupboard and there was a box on the top shelf, I was like, what is that? I don't know what that is. And I went up and looked and it was a gift. And then like fast forward, 
I don't know, like a year or two later, I had completely forgot about that whole thing. Opened it up one day again, there was like a bag or something in the top. I was like, what is that? I went to get another gift. So I've learned my lesson now. Um, yeah, I think I can completely clear out that top shelf. And then I won't be checking. If something appears there, I will assume that it is a gift. I'm nearly done with this. And I'm so glad because uh, sometimes I like something annoys me and I think like, oh, I won't. I'll tackle it some other day. But this one, I was like, you know what? No, we're doing it. We're getting it done. Um, and I'm glad. <laughs> I'm very glad. But let's go through. Let me just text him the last few bits and then I can start putting everything back. He's decluttering seven mugs, which is great. ran into slight difficulty because some things are taller than they should be <laughs> basically but this pour over coffee thing and one of the protein powder shaker things too tall for this shelf so uh, I did consider rearranging the shelves ideally I could have just moved this one down but no this won't actually go any lower so I would have had to move the two other ones up and that, it was just more work than I was willing to do today. This is the setup for now. I've put this thing right here, front and center. He does use it reasonably regularly. And the protein powder bottle shaker thing. Oh, what do you call those? <laughs> I don't know what the shaker thing. Um, I just put lying on its side in here. So I was able to move the big protein powder tub up here. So that's great, that's out of the way. And yes, I did clear that top shelf so now it is free and open should he want to buy me more gifts <laughs> i have told him though he's gone away on a work trip for this week and i've told him in no uncertain terms not to bring something back my husband is a gift giver that is his love language if you follow that um but i i, I don't want any more stuff <laughs> basically i'm trying to get the stuff out so i told him the best gift he could get for me is to not bring something back and I would be absolutely thrilled with that. He will still bring something back for our daughter um, and she has specifically requested something. So uh, yeah, he'll be bringing something back for that. But uh, yeah, if he could just not come home with a whole pile of stuff, <laughs> that would be great. But he did get rid of more than I thought he would. Like there's a lot of stuff there that is now either going to be dumped, recycled, or donated. It's amazing how much stuff comes out of such a small space. And this unintentionally is the start then of the kitchen declutter, I guess. This cupboard right here, I, I don't, that's also full of his stuff. I don't even want to think about it. It's disastrous. <laughs> As actually is, not this one, this one's fine. This one is full of spices and seasoning and stuff. My husband loves to cook, but well, I don't know if loves is the right term, but he does enjoy cooking for the most part he's a very good cook unlike me so he's the one who has all of the seasonings and the oils and the sauces and stuff and it's just pure mayhem up here so someday i will be tackling that but today is not that day i'm just happy and grateful that i was able to clear this out and it is looking so much better and now i can go and relax and go have a shower i've been out running errands all morning and then got back and just had like quickly grabbed something to eat and then saw this i was like i have to dive in but thrilled with this quick and easy win if you want to go grab my decluttering checklist where i break everything down into subcategories i will have that linked for you otherwise i'm going to stand here for a minute and just admire my hard work and then i'm going to go have a shower <laughs> Slon.